Hey. Hey. What's going on? What's up? Where you been? How you How you doing? Running around since 5:30 this morning. Really? Yep. What the hell you doing at 5:30 this morning? Waking up huh? with these crazy babies? Oh yeah. Anyway. Uh I so I put the post out yesterday regarding this this show. Um and I mentioned I got a lot of people that message me so I'm hoping we get enough people that that come on board. Um and uh you know, a lot of people want to know well, I'm good what because uh, I'm basically try to learn. I used it right now. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. But that's um I, I don't know this platform, so I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, you sound static. Are you moving around or something? Yeah, I'm trying to fix these earphones. Okay. I got Coco trying to jump on the bed. Come on up. Okay. Hey, baby. So anyway, um, hold on one sec. I'm doing the same thing with my phones. Uh, oop, 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 oop. What happened? Oh no. No, cancel. All right. What are you doing? I just hit. I just hit. I said jump partner. <laughs> yeah, no, don't jump, don't jump me. <laughs> so, all right, so, so, so the whole idea. So, this is what I'm trying to get at with this. Okay, so basically, we're going to be getting into a new, the new year, right? Right. So, what I want to do, I already got somebody who's asking a question. Hold on one second. Let me see what this message is. Hold on. Okay. Oh. I like your halo, Angel. Oh, thank you. It's just for show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bring in the ice. Okay. <laughs> All right. But uh, anyway, so so what I want to do now is um is I want to try to I want to a lot of people are not used to us communicating on a bigger scale like this. They used to, you know, people that call us up, that's a different story, you know what I mean? We try to give some advice or whatever the case may be. Uh, the whole thing is we're going into a whole new year. And um, I'd I like to take advantage of, you know, of the opportunity that's, that's in front of us. And I'd like to share it with more people, a, a new batch of people. There's so many people that, that are not realizing the potential of what we can actually do, that, you know, what, what we can actually do with this genre. Right. You know, do you, am I making sense? Of course you're making sense. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but because, if, I mean, right now, right now, let's figure out this platform while we're doing that at the same time. Yeah, well, the platform, no word, the platform, we on it now. You know, we tested it yesterday. So we, we see, you know, we see, we can, we see what it does. Uh-huh. Um, and, and I think as we go along and depending on how, uh, the listeners interact with us. We'll be able to uh, to give us a good idea as to um, uh, you know how we can how can, how we can use this. How can we really use this to really you know benefit what's going on? You know, we're finally yeah. listen. We're finally hitting the road. I know. After, I can't believe it. My last you know, show was in the end of February last year, and then I had a show, but it was postponed because of the COVID, which was a month ago, but it had to, in, in, in LA, but it had to be postponed. Yeah, you know what was so funny? Those dudes never called me. That was weird, They right? have to find a date. Yeah, but they haven't called me. Like, they, they didn't, I have not heard from them. Well, they know we're not gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're good. Yeah, your phone sounds real staticky. I, I don't know why. Yeah, sounds like you're hitting the wire. Um, I'm not touching Sorry. anything. Should I, should I take it out? No. We'll take it out. See how it sounds. Okay. We'll do a test. Hello? Is that better? Yeah, it's actually better. Yeah. Why? That's weird. I do not know. Yeah, But I can't even weird. hear it. I can't even hear in the earphones. I don't know why. Oh, maybe there's something wrong with them. Put your volume up, too. 
My volume is up. Yeah. The what? My volume is up. Uh, okay. What's up? So, are you getting on? You ready for the show this this uh the end of this month? Absolutely. I can't yeah. wait. Really? I cannot wait. I'm ready to start all over. Just get back out there. Yeah, you know what my biggest concern is, right? Getting on the plane. Yeah, the flights. Yeah, yeah the no. flights are the flights are messing with me a little bit. I think you know. I mean, the good thing is that the fact that it's 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 a direct flight. There's no connections. Yeah. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. You know. Um. But uh, yeah, getting on that flight. Uh, I was talking to Erica. She was like, "No, just leave your mask. Wipe everything down when you get there. Stay still. Get out." You know. Listen, I so, didn't even want to sit next to anybody. I told you that already. Oh, I don't know if we have that kind of control. I don't know what they're doing. They, well, I I, I'm, sure, I'm sure they got people. I'm sure they have people. Set, you know, spread out. I'm hoping. You know. Plus, I got those heavy duty. You know, twenty five ply mm -hmm. face mask. You know, you know what? You know what I was just thinking. You know, it's almost like this year, or well, not well, almost a year, gave us time to reflect on what's yeah. going on. You know, in the freestyle yeah. music industry. It was listen. It was a rough. It was a rough year. It, it was a rough, a rough year, year, but it made us. It made us think about a lot of things. Yeah. Like, you know, we weren't rushing around. We were able to stop and think, and what's going on, and which way is this genre going, and you know, yeah, how should yeah. we proceed? Listen, listen, we always talked about freestyle pretty much going south when we hit maybe our 60s. And we were like, okay, what are we going to do after after we're 60? You know, is this shit going to be over? Like, do we got to go find real jobs? Like, what do we do? Listen, I have to tell you. I'm talking about what I, we no, were, I would have to tell you. I remember, I remember telling myself, shoot me. If I'm still on stage at 40 years old performing, <laughs> yeah. I would have been dead already. Yeah, listen, I was with the youngest artist in the freaking genre. I thought I'd be doing this for quite a while. She ended up wanting to step back for a little while, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I mean, I kept thinking, you know, you could never have told me that this thing would have just went south and just, you know, uh, out of nowhere like that you know it just shows that how vulnerable you know things could be and how you know we can't we can't take anything for granted yeah but it was pretty crazy that last show when i said i feel like this is my last show that was a crazy show yeah i remember seeing and it. i said i feel like this is my last show i i don't know why yeah it was the weirdest yeah. night the weirdest feeling yeah yeah like i think i took like three shots that night <laughs> Yeah, because I, I just couldn't shake yeah, it. it Caroline, like Caroline got sick that night. Remember Caroline that? got sick. Yeah, it was a, it was crazy. I mean, it was a great show though. It was a great show. It was a great. It was, no, it was a great audience. More than yeah. that, it was a great audience. Yeah, even you know? you just just you and Sunshine on stage and rocked the house. Yeah, but you it know? just felt weird. It was such a weird feeling. Yeah, and I remember get on that coming home from my nephew's wedding. Uh huh. And do you remember right right when I got off the plane, I told you, let's run and get water. And you were like, what do you mean? I said, they're going to be sold out of water. Remember? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, they were sold out of water. Remember? Sold out of water. Yeah. Sold out of um, out of toilet paper. Yeah. It was so crazy. Yeah. Like, no, but you know, you could never told me in my life this was gonna happen. But look at, but look at what, look at what's going on. Look what happened now. Now, since you know, a lot of things have changed. You see, it's situations like this that kind of makes everything change. You know, now you get, we're at a point now, where we have kids learning on the computer. We right. have artists that are doing more things online. You know, uh, they're doing performances, and and though we're not, we're still remember, we're still very old school. So a lot of us are not adapt to that. We're not used to that. We're not used to standing in front of the computer and watching an artist perform live. It still doesn't. It doesn't seem right. It's almost like, you know, it was like when 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 we first started getting cordless telephones, we felt yeah. that the signal wasn't going to be good because there wasn't a wire. Right, right. 
Remember? That's true. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. You know, true. so it's you know, it's situations like that that kind of makes you know turns everything around. Look and feeling like point. you were the shit. You were the shit when you got a beeper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. But then then you have um um uh then you have people that you know nobody nobody shakes hands anymore. Like people right. doing the pound. The people are even reluctant to do the pound. It's like people do the I pound ain't doing and then that they, and then they wipe their knuckles on their pants. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. I'll wave. I'll wave to you. Hey. Yeah, or bow. But I think that what we should do is we got to do like Japan did and bring in the bow. I ain't doing that bowing shit. I'll wave. I'll do the bow. I'm not. I'll bow. I'll do a little bow. What's I ain't up? doing all that. I'll I wave. do that now. Hey. See, we do it opposite. When we say what's up, we throw our head back. <laughs> the Japanese come in, they throw their head forward. <laughs> Why not? That's right. But, but, but think about it. Now, when this is all over, how open are people going to be to suddenly go and start shaking hands again? And they I'm might, but it might. No it's always, it's always going to be in the back of the head. I ain't shaking no hands. But you know well, what? You I can't say that. I'm a very friendly person. Well, not only that, you do an autograph signing. How many times people want to shake your hand? No, you know what? I miss, I miss, I miss that. I miss being able to hug people, and you know. Yeah. Look, I just found that Puerto Rican restaurant. I just wanted to hug the lady. Oh yeah, we gotta tell Eddie about that. Oh my God, Puerto Rican restaurant. Eddie, we found a. a just so you know, we found a Puerto Rican restaurant called the Taino Restaurant here in Monroe. Big old Puerto Rican flag. Yeah, big old Puerto Rican flag. No, it's Indian Trail, Indian Trail. Yes, yeah, Indian Trail. So. Hey, hey, you got a little thingy thing on the bottom. Oh, okay. Let's see who's this. Can't hear. Yeah, gotta send that again. Yeah, I can't hear. That that came out real low. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. So you know, but there's gonna be a lot of changes. Remember what I said in the beginning? I said, you know, I don't want to come out of this whole situation the same way we went in. I'm I'm actually I'm actually afraid. Well, of you that. know what? You know what? You're definitely not gonna. Because you were knocking out project after project. Listen, you wrote three books. Yeah. Inside, yeah. you released three books. Yeah. yeah. That's plus crazy. The, plus the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. Yeah, you started a podcast. Absolutely, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, which which we're which going, is going we're, to be one whole year soon. It's going to be a whole year. It's crazy. Wow, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And then now, this this podcast, which is going to be a spinoff of our regular Where Freestyle Lives podcast. Yeah. Which will be kicking up, which will be kicking in in January. Yeah, I'm gonna comb so, my hair for that. Yeah, that one you're gonna have to. You can't, you can't. You know yeah. how I comb my hair for shows? I'm gonna comb my hair for, for that too. Yeah, see, now you said where to. Maybe I might throw, just throw my baseball cap on though, you know? Yeah, he might. Well, I mean, it's a weekly, that one's a weekly <laughs> show. My panuelo on. <laughs> yeah, that one's a weekly show. So you, uh, you okay. might have some. Hold on one second. I got a message. Okay. We can go to the Puerto Rican restaurant in Monroe, which is cool, but I'm not shaking nobody's hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to want to hug this lady. The food smells so good. <laughs> and she's from your family's hometown. Caguas. Yeah, supposedly she's from Caguas. Not supposedly. She told me. Oh, she's from, yeah, she's from Caguas. She looks like Cuca. Eddie, I don't know if you remember Kuka. Or if you remember how she looked. But that's who that woman looked like. And I know Kuka had a couple of daughters, but and the daughters were older than me. This woman doesn't look like she was that much older than me. If if she older looked than old. Yeah, no, nah, she looked like she's definitely older than us. Yeah. Unless yeah, she Kuka. just had a hard life. Yeah, yeah. She looks like I bet you, I bet you if you ask her, she's gonna be like, yeah, I'm I'm 32. No, nah, it's like those country people here, right? Yeah, over here is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here, you know, we're holding the doors open for, for, for women. We're like, oh, here, hold the door open. So, you know, let the little old lady pass by. And then we get to, we meet them like a month later. And we're talking. They say, yeah, next week's my 35th birthday. They're like, what? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Could be 30, what? Say what? The 35th anniversary? <laughs> Your wedding oh, anniversary? Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't <laughs> oh, play. Oh man, but um, 
But yeah, man. So anyway, uh, you know, I, I like what you said about not going into this, not coming out of this the same way you went into it. Yeah. I think it's not that I did so much different. I think my mindset is different. Yeah. Like I've always been thankful. You know that I'm one of those people. I've always been thankful for everything I have. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I couldn't believe how much I had through this whole year. When I see people who don't have any food, yeah. who don't yeah. have a roof over their head, right, right. you know, yep. can't feed their kids. You know, yeah. that would kill me. Man, not I can't to be able see my to, kids. Not to be able to feed your little babies, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, just hard. Rough. It's, it's just hard. But, but so, you know what? So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know what? What's, what's so crazy is like, you know, this is what's so cool. You know, and the other podcasts, I talk a lot about technology and I talk about like things like this app. Like, you know, when I saw this app, now there's other apps like this. You know me, I get on social media and I find everything. I, I'm right, right. I'm down with a lot of diff- some that I don't even use. I just go in there. A lot of times I'll, I, will, I might I might register, I might set up a profile and I'll go and I'll, I'll kind of explore it. But then there's some that they're just not moving me. Or they might be a, 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 a complete duplicate of another one. I kind of like the other one better or whatever the case may be. Like, I don't see it being promising. But when, you know, when we when we grab hold of technology, you know, such as this one, right? Such as a stereo app. And we look at it, we kind of, and we try to figure out how we can utilize this, you know, for us, you know, for, and for our genre. You know, our genre, because of the age group, we're very connected to Facebook, Facebook is like our home. And it'll always be our home. Also, a lot of them are into Instagram now, though. Well, that's, yeah. A lot of people have transitioned. But, you know, what happens is, is social media is usually start off for kids. And with the kids. Like, like TikTok. And, and then they the run away. And they run right, away they, when the grown-ups get there. Right, right, right. So when the <laughs> grown-ups come in. So Facebook Good, we don't want the them to speak ass there anyway. Same, this, Facebook was the same way. Facebook was, you know, all kids... Until we moved yeah. in, and then they dipped, and then they all went out to Instagram, and uh-huh. we said, "Oh, that's the new one. Okay, well, let me go over there." <laughs> and then when but, TikTok but, kicked in, but you know it. what? You know, you know what? I feel we were so blessed to have this technology because we're able to do virtual shows. If you absolutely, want. absolutely. You know, I mean, let me tell you, we're able to keep in touch with your <laughs> fans and with you know what's going yeah. on in the music industry, and people are still releasing you know product and. I mean, listen, one of the biggest tackles, one of the biggest tackles back in the days trying to get a record deal was finding a record company, not only that it wanted to sign you, but could they distribute your shit? Could they could they put your stuff out there? That was the big thing. Like the so the label might feel you, but their distributor might not find it, find you worth it. You see, that mm-hmm. doesn't apply anymore, you know? Right. Now with you know, with social media, there is no excuse. We have unlimited distribution. We just have to be smart with it. We can't always think that we could put something out and all of a sudden the whole world is going to run to it because the new currency now is attention. That's that's what people are right. going for. Right. Everybody's, everybody's looking at followers or they're looking at likes, you know? And yeah, yeah. I, under, I understand it. You know, I understand. Though, and I, 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 I struggle with that. Come on, I do TikToks. I'm on every social media. I don't have an incredible following. I have a following, a broad following. My following mm-hmm. is broad. I have right. them everywhere from YouTube, so it's decent. But it's not deep. It's not deep, but that comes with consistency. But what a lot of this, especially now, you know, with the, with the artists. See, this is the reason why I want to get like no, no, on but, this. But, you know, you made a point. You made a point just a minute ago when you said people our age, you know, for them to get on social media and check everything, every, everything out is different than somebody who's younger. So that's why we still have so many fans that go to these concerts and we have thousands of people there, but they are not people that are on social media. Yeah. So that's why it's important for us to yeah. let people well, you know, know a lot of, a media, lot of people, this mu- that this type of music is still out there and it's still, yeah. Vi- you know. Yeah. A lot of people are totally rebellious against social media. To them, it's a taboo. To them, it's this bad thing. It's like... Oh, you, I want people in my business or They're watching or everything you're see, doing. <laughs> yeah, all I, all, yeah, all I all I see is the drama. I can't take you know, and and social media is not designed that way. The, you, know, reason- you know, that always makes me laugh when people say, "Oh, oh my God, I can't take the drama." 
Well, bitch, go someplace else. Why do you want? There's so no. many places to follow social media. No, but, but, Why but, do you but, have to but, sit there with a the drama? Is, but this is the deal. This is how the algorithm works. See, the algorithm goes according to what you like. See, the algorithm is designed, and billions of dollars addition to these machines, these, these these coding systems, so that way they can find out what it is you like. So if you're getting a ton of drama, it's because the algorithm figured that you like that shit because somewhere yeah. along the line you was engaging with it. You you were right. liking someone's post. Okay, right. fine. It was one person, but nonetheless, but I mean, it was. No, but what I'm trying to say is nobody puts a gun to your head. You could. You don't have to be on that page. If it has drama, you could switch to another page. Go someplace else. Do something else. Yeah, but it's going to be the same thing. The drama is going to follow them because wherever they go on Instagram, they're going to follow the drama. They go on Twitter, they're going to. It's they're going to find it. You know, if you're if you're into something, if you think about it, if you're in if you're into I don't know a uh, construction. Okay, I don't get anything on construction sent to my on my feed. I never see shit like that. In fact. I would think that it doesn't even exist, but it does. If mm -hmm. I was in that field, I would be following groups right. that are into construction. My friends, my friend list will be more construction. Listen, Facebook, as far as I'm concerned, is there's only freestyle people on there, nobody else. <laughs> right? Because right? <laughs> I'm on all I'm on all those groups. Yeah. Most of them are yeah. either my friends are either artists or producers or fans or DJs. So as far as my Facebook world, it's all freestyle people. If I was into hip hop, if I was doing hip hop at that level, it'll be all hip hop. That's how that yeah. thing works. So yeah. I, I get that all the time. And I tell people all the time, the only reason why you see a ton of politics, I don't never see nothing on politics. I never see anything on politics. Right. Why? I don't, because yeah, I, you don't check for it. I don't like it, even if it's coming from a family member or a friend, because I understand what's, what the algorithm is going to do. They're going to look at you and say, oh, oh, you like that shit? <laughs> I got a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? You just busted yourself. What? Because why you got all those pictures and stuff coming up on your computer? You what said, picture? you said right. the match.com and pictures no. and everything. No. The <laughs> algorithm knows you like that shit then. <laughs> no, no. No, no. All right, let me, and the, let me and the, hold on. No. And the big booty girls. The algorithm knows you like that shit. <laughs> no, what do you? No, what do you? All right, let me let me explain myself on that. Oh, one. now you okay. gonna explain I, yourself? Yeah, and anybody who wants to try it can try it. Go on down YouTube Downloader, like let's. Oh let's my say, god! Hold up! Hold up! I'm, I'm, hold up! Hold up! Oh let's say my you go, god! Say you go on YouTube Downloader. All right, go to Google. Go YouTube Downloader. Remember what I told you about people that keep explaining themselves? No, no, That's I got it. That's you know they're lying. No, hell Remember no, what I, I told it. you about that? Nah, man, I gotta protect myself, man. I like people to know what's up. So you, you go to just YouTube Downloader. You just explain the algorithm. Algorithms you Google, to me. No, no, that's not Facebook. That's <laughs> no, that's Google. Now you go. What happens? Oh, you go oh, to oh, 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 I'm sorry. Now that's Google. This, oh, this, okay. Hey, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to teach you something. Listen, right? you know what you need to do right now? You know, you need to check these messages so we can get off this subject. Okay. All right, hold on. <laughs> Yo, Latif, Angel, how you doing? This is Tommy. I'm driving my car, got my head, my head shaved, listening to y'all talk. I'm on my way home. Keep talking. I love what I'm listening to. Hey, Tommy. Hi. How are you? Thanks for Yo, listening. Tommy, Tommy's funny, man. I said, let me tell you about Tommy, right? So, <laughs> so Tommy gets onto stereo, right? He hits me up. He yeah. goes, he goes, Yo, man, how, how you set up the avatar? So I'm telling him pretty much what to do, right? So finally he goes, yo, check out my avatar. Yo, I swear to God, man. See, Tommy's a big freaking white dude. Yo, the avatar came out like a freaking Puerto Rican guy. <laughs> All right, he had the gold he's just, he's just a little Puerto Rican. <laughs> so, yeah, a little Puerto Rican. He had the dark skin. I'm like, I said, yeah, I said, that's a great avatar, Tommy. I said, you look a little Puerto Rican. He goes, yeah, I can't find the white skin. I can't find, I said, keep looking. And then he finds the white skin. And he says, yo, go check it out. I said, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> However, hey, man, hey, listen, hey, hey, what better place to be a Puerto Rican than on stereo? Hey, if you could do it, what well, hey, do hey. it? <laughs> oh, I got no message. Hold on. Uh oh. Someone got busted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting busted with something. Uh oh, we were trying to get off the subject. <laughs> <laughs> right, Latif? <laughs> Bring yeah. the subject back up. <laughs>
Hold on, hold on. So that's, y'all can call me the white Puerto Rican. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, we got plenty of those, bro. <laughs> we got plenty of white Puerto Ricans. our family. Right? <laughs> in our family. Yeah, we have them in our family. We have the blonde hair, blue eyes. In our family, they go from the whitest of the white to the blackest of the black. So we we have a nice uh, range of uh, of flavors on there, but but anyway, um, but yeah. So so anyway, all right. So so I want to go back to the reason why uh, we wanted to mess with this this particular app, and while we got to promote it, we want to promote it, and we're going to try to come on every day so we could discuss a little something. We'll see if it works for every day. If not, we'll extend it. Whatever. I have a feeling what's going to happen is we're going to get enough people coming on. We're going to get enough interactions, and we're going to get into deep conversations that the hour is not even going to be enough. Well, that you know, if you don't want to get on every day, I can get on by myself and just talk. You know me. No, that's not what we're doing. But anyway, <laughs> that's, not what, that's not the plan. That's not what... That's not the not, plan? Oh, okay. No, that's not, oh. What, that's not where I was going with this. But oh, I'm trying I to see. say the reason why I did it only an hour is because I figured, okay, you know what? We could go every day for an yeah. hour. I could, I could spare an hour in the afternoon. Yeah. That's usually when I, I take my break. I can't. I just got to move faster. I got to make up this hour. Nah, yeah. Usually 12 o'clock is when I want to take my first break. Yeah, true. So that's fine with me. You know, and it's for a good cause. Absolutely. I'm loving this place. Yeah, it's for a good cause. I'm loving um, this app. Yeah. You know, you know what? I want to try to get through to a lot of the oh, people. Oh, yay. You got another message. No, hold on one second. Show me that you really love me. <laughs> oh, freaking Tommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah, so. I, I, what was I trying to say? Until Tommy you were trying to explain the, the algorithms to no, me. No, no, no. I was, I was past that. <laughs> I, was, I was past Because you can't get that one. That's That's... That's past year. You can't. That's too. That's another level, man. So that's yeah, another I level. Just, I can't break. I can't. I can't break that one down for you. Oh, you know? okay. All right. <laughs> so, but uh, no. But what I want to try to do here is I want to try to see if we can if we can open up this platform. You know, there's so many people that there's so many groups in, on Facebook for freestyle. There's so many of these different pages. There's so many people still trying to break in, and these people in their fifties still trying to break in, and, and you know what? I kind of like that. Like people, but you know people, what there also is? You know what there what? also is? There's a what? bunch of people our age saying, oh, shit, you're still performing? And it's yeah. like, uh, yeah? Yeah. And then no, when no, they but, see but, concerts but, with thousands of people, they're like, oh, my God, that many people go to the concerts? Uh, yeah. 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 You know, we're yep. still selling out places. Yeah. But you know what? What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to you know, let people know that there's still within it. There's still a lot of opportunity. It's mm-hmm. it's nowhere close to being dead. It really isn't. Right. It's taking right. a bit of an underground uh, move, but a lot yeah, of things have. Yeah. Uh-huh. But a lot of things have. You know, house music has uh, 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 artsy movies. You know, there's a lot of underground stuff that you have to kind of be a part of that culture to to know it, and that's cool. I I, I like it. I like that. I don't want. I, I, don't, I, care. Don't, I don't mind. I don't mind it being underground, but there's so many people that don't know it's still there that right. actually love this music, well, this love is, the artist. Right. Right. But that's why that's why these platforms and what I'm trying to tell a lot of people is to, yo, know, come on out. Come on, come into some of the other platforms. Let's right. let's start other communities. Facebook has freaking 70 freaking Facebook groups on freestyles, so the same people right. over and over. And then the, the ones with the big numbers, a lot of those, they paid for those. So they they're not even what? Yeah. numbers? A lot of those, a lot of members, yeah. They get a lot of those fake members that come on there from India. Right. You can tell because when you go into you see all the Indian dudes, you know? Oh, they shoot. populate a lot of those groups, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's that's fine for them if that that's what makes them feel good. <laughs> you know, right. but the I, but the whole thing, but the whole thing is you see the like like what I was saying. You know, freestyle became more of an underground. It, it's more of a very defined culture, and I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. I kind of like that. I like the fact I don't. I don't need it to be mainstream. People are like, you know, what do we gotta do to kind of put it back on radio? Why? For what? For what? Well, I don't care about that. I just want the people that love the music to be able to know it's still there and we're still performing, and you know, come right. and be a part of it. 
Yeah, yeah. And and, and understand that, you that's know. That's my thing. And really, really, I want to I want to really define it as a culture. I really want to find those little aspects. If you look at hip hop, hip hop has a culture. Hip right. hop has its mainstream division. It has its it has its very poppy, more commercial. But then it has its own underground following. There's right. there's records out there that we've never even heard of because we're not part of that movement. Mm -hmm. And those are very underground. Same thing with spoken word, poetry. A lot of those things are for a specific type of people. Art. You go to, you know, modern art. You know, yeah, we all like art. But do you really? How often do you go to the museums, to the art museums? You know, are you a membership? Do you own any paintings? You know what I mean? Like, but so you know, it's, but, but the difference is that, you know, those museums are there. A lot of people don't know <laughs> that we're still here. No, we know there is. But no, there are people that don't know. I believe that there right. are people that don't know what's in those rooms. They see MoMA, but they're like, what the hell, what, what is that? So my, so my mama lives in there? Like, what is that? Uh, no, but I'm you saying, know? I'm saying there's people that love this music that don't realize that there's still concerts going on, that we're right. still performing, that, you know. Right, right. But that's vital. why, right, yeah. and that's why we have to get off of, like, not get off it. I'm not saying leave, like, leave a Facebook, but go into other areas. TikTok is getting saturated with with freestyle. You seen it? Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. of freestyle heads up in there. That's that's dope. Uh, yeah. Because then you also have a younger generation that they're like, okay, what is this? That's how things happen. That's how that's how this thing, you know, evolves. You know? Right. You know, right. and I, I, I would like to see more people, you know, gravitate in that direction. Not not say, oh man, it's not mainstream. What do we gotta do to get back on radio? I don't want mm -hmm. it. We got internet radio. We don't need that. We got Spotify. We don't need don't that. Care. Yeah, I don't care about radio. I don't yeah. even, listen. I barely listen to the radio anymore. I only listen I never to online listen to, radio. I don't even drive with the radio. Like I need a computer in my car. Like I don't even want the radio on. I hate. But that's what I I'm saying. Like I, listen, I listen to I listen to live radio. You know. No, nah, I, I put on you. I I put on YouTube and I listen to my speeches while I'm driving. That's what I enjoy. No, no, no. But I'm talking about when it comes to music. Right. I don't care about those regular radio stations anymore. Yeah. Well, they don't have the power. People are still right. giving them the power, but they don't have the power. Yeah, power. You know how many what, people? What kind of power do they have? You know how many people have come to me and that when I book a show and they're like, "Yo, so I'm looking to put, you know, you know, five thousand dollars into, you know, B96 or this station, that station." And I'm like, "Why are you gonna do that for?" Well, no, I want to get the PR. I said, "No, nah, man, advertise on social media." Right. You got how to do that, man. And they say you're spending five thousand dollars on a radio station that that's probably not going to hit your peak audience. You could go on social media and really pinpoint your audience for probably half the price. Well, that's have a bigger... so old, that's old school. That's why. Yeah, they're very yeah, they're, they're not moving that. with the times. Yeah, because they don't. They're not educated. They don't know. They don't. They don't know. You know how many times I've come. To, I, I've had maybe what. You've seen it. I've met what maybe three or four people that have actually come through me to advertise. Right. And what happened with those events? You tell me. They sold out. They sold out. And we're talking they about had to remember that they are, two of them they had to put an extra show. Yep. Yeah, we had to do. Yeah. yeah. And and they, you know, they were scared to 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 part. They trusted me. But then they came off and they started doing their own advertising. And they started trying to go back the traditional route and they could never fill it the way they did. Right. And they think they honestly think it was just a coincidence. Not it wasn't a coincidence. A coincidence. No. That's the way it is. You gotta, you gotta, people have to understand and you have to, you know, you have to trust, you know, trust what's what's going on. Listen, we have an incredible opportunity here. Like I wanna mm -hmm. really open up the platform. See, the 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 the, the opportunities are really abundant with freestyle. There is mm -hmm. so much, people think, and you'll get artists, agents, promoters who are terrified to introduce or to teach anybody about what they know. They're terrified. They think that they're gonna step in and become their competitor. That's, it's totally opposite. And it's so hard to get this across to people, for people to understand that, you know, no, no, you know, we need to teach. I'd love to get other agents that come to me and say, yo, how do I do this? You're not going to get in my way. You got to, you got to be able to do what I do. Right. You know? you know, promoters. I have an entire course on promotions. I, I think pro we need more promoters. We right. got the Absolutely. same, we have like the same three, three, 
three top promoters. Do you know how, put it this way, you want to talk about something being oversaturated? Look at hip hop. You know how many promoters uh, Who are the hip-hop? three? Who are the three? I know of Bobby D, Alan Beck, who's the third? Alan Beck, and uh, who, who else? So, Bobby oh, and D. The, and, and the New York people. The Al- Adam Torres. I mean, but that's well, just that's, it's not like well, they're all no, over. No, the place. no, well, they're just they're, Alan they're Beck just is all Alan Beck is all over the place. Bobby D is all over the place. No, no, Bobby's not. Bobby's mostly California. Bobby does not go anywhere else. Very, very. Bobby rarely. was just struggle. Yeah, but that's not his thing. His thing is Long Beach. Okay, okay. that's his market. Um, um, Alan, the same thing. There's certain markets Alan doesn't go into. He's mm-hmm. good. If you notice, he does the same markets over and over because he's established those markets. Right. He's established a, re- a relationship. With the radios and the rent and the venues over there you know right. and then you have the adam torres who's doing you know the connecticut the master square garden the radio city yeah they established that so we can't oh, okay. sleep on them all right okay you know but that's it that's it and that's and then you wonder why we have all these artists and so many artists are not working and then the artists that do work don't work enough how do i get an a-list artist come to me and say yo la what's up you know shows man you don't have no shows this month that's ridiculous man Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That should not have. That should not. But why? But it makes sense. There's no promoters, right? The promoters already booking three, four months. They know who the next four artists are for the year, right? And how? What, what are they doing? Some of them are doing. The big ones are doing what? Eight acts. What yeah. Does, what does Allen do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about eight acts average. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what? Once a year per city, that's not enough. Right. That's not enough. Not for everybody to work. Mm-hmm. You know. So and and then you know and then when you get in the big concerts, you know what the big concerts want, right? They want a discount. Right. You want to get on an Alan Beck show? That's that's beautiful. And I listen. I love Alan, and I do it too. I give him a discount. But why? Comes to me with ten shows. Of course, I'm gonna give him a damn discount. Right. Of course, I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna make it work. Right. You no, know, he gives. He gives. He's going. He's. I know that we're going to be good. We're going to work for the next ten months. You know? Right. But yeah. you know, a group like a little Susie or the Cover Girls is an expensive group. So even with a discount, it's still lucrative. It's still good. Mm-hmm. But what about some of the other ones who are not making that kind of money? You know, it's it's it hurts. This should that should not be the case. And then so many of the the, the so called B list acts. No, they should. They, a lot of them are really good. They should be working a lot often. But you can't force them. It's not me as an agent. It's not my fault. And you can't force them down the throat of a of a another, another promoter. Promoters don't care about anybody's career. Mm-hmm. Promoter doesn't care that you haven't worked in a month. Right. A, a promoter doesn't care that you're trying to you know push a new record. Well, the promoters have the power right now. You just said it yourself. There's only three big promoters. There really well, isn't big promoters right. out there. So they have the power. But if there were more promoters. But yeah, but what I'm saying is supply and demand. There's not enough. There's, right. There's That's not what I'm a... saying. If there was more promoters, it would be different. Yeah. But what's happening is people don't know how to promote. They don't. They don't know how well, to go out there and learn and how to promote. Right. And it's not just that. It's not just that because that they could figure out. A lot of them are, are literally scared they're scared to give it a shot that's they what i'm think, saying you and i know it's not hard no it's it's very easy and it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg and i've showed many people how to do that I've, listen i've had people that call me just to just to inquire hey man what if i wanted to book a freestyle artist what do i have to do and i would tell them because they never in their mind even considered it it was just a question they didn't call me because they planned on doing it they called mm-hmm. me because it was just a, a, a blue question mm-hmm. and i answered the question next thing you know three weeks later i'm getting a phone call and they want to they want to try their hand and they, they're like yo i didn't know i could do this some of them do it and hang in there for a while quite a few then you right. have those that fall to the wayside because it wasn't for them it's right. still listen it's a job nonetheless it still requires work and you got to have a certain level of passion mm-hmm you know, but it I could believe be, that. It could I, be, I absolutely it, believe you have to have a passion. You gotta have a passion, and, you mm-hmm. know, because you know what? It's not a nine to five. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get up at nine o'clock in the morning and work on your, your, on your, on your event, 
and then go to sleep and then shut down at 5 p.m. It's not going to happen. Oh, and the only way happen. you're going to the only way you're going to put in those ridiculous hours is you have to have a true passion for what you're doing. You have to really really, you know, cuz not you what you know what happens when you're doing a lot of work for very little money because that's what happens mm -hmm. is you start to do the math. And when you yeah. say, "Okay, well, I made $100 and I worked I worked 18 hours." So, what I but I mean, was that a dollar eighty an hour? Yeah, but when you're having a good time doing something, you don't think right. That but that that's where the passion comes in, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Right. You have to have that, mm -hmm. you know, because once you start doing the math, if, listen. If I did the math, if I compare the money I made to the amount of hours I work, I probably make about three twenty-five an hour. <laughs> For real, you're always working. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. But I love what I do. Right. Listen, if you can spend three years writing books. Knowing that you you know you're not gonna put it out there and it's gonna blow up the next day. That it's something that you have to kind of just live with and mm -hmm. just kind of keep keep on top of it. You gotta have a passion for it. So my right. passion was never what I can make from it. My passion was the process. My right. pro my passion was the legacy that I will leave behind because these books will outlive me. I could die and these these books will still be around. That's why I, one of the things right. I told my kids. I said, Yo, whatever you guys do, man. I'll make sure my my books stay out there. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's my way of telling stories for eternity. You know, right, right. <laughs> so, but uh, <clears throat> but you know, like I said, you know, there's 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 a lot of opportunities, and I I am really, I I like I'm really excited to try to see, and, and that's why I wanted to get on on an app like this. You know, my writing. Isn't gonna do it all the time. My right. vlogs sometimes aren't gonna do it. These are all pre-recorded. I need something that connects with people one-on-one. -on -one. Because I know there are people out there that said, man, I would love to do that shit, man. I would love it. And if I told them the kind of money that I've seen in the back rooms. Yeah. Okay, and I'm talking about just for a club, for a 25-year-old promoter to walk away from a club with thirty-seven thousand dollars in his pocket for one night for one night event. Yeah, it wasn't one night work. It took a lot of work. But if you know what you're doing, it's almost like an assembly line. You do the same shit for every event. You do this, you do this. And if you have an agent, whether it's me or another agent, there's no compulsion. I don't I don't care. But if you have an agent, an agent will actually help you with like 50% of that shit and it won't even cost you anything. Right. That's so crazy because the agent wants to see the event happen. So now you have a resource. You have a connection to the you have someone who has experience with, you know, tons of events, someone who has relationships with the artists, someone who can negotiate with the artists, someone who, who can tell you, yeah, do this, but don't do that, you know? So, you know, I'm really, really determined this year for 2021 to, and I'm praying that, you know, COVID is over. So we have a little bit more interaction of, of bringing more promoters on board, you know, but right. I have to build that well, trust. That's because, you know, that's, that was going to be my next question. How do you help these people? How do you find these people? How do you help these people? They have to, we have to. Who want to become the, promoters? I, I don't think you really find them. I think we have to do things like what we're doing now. And we have to promote it because we, we have to let people know that we're here and we're discussing this. Yeah, but how do we're, you help them? I mean, do you say, hey, you know, well, like right now we're talking. No, 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 I'm saying like right now we're talking. Right. What can you say to everybody? Can you say, hey, you know, if, if you ever thought of being a promoter, you know, give me a call, you know? Well, de yeah, definitely. Definitely give me a call. They can give me a call with no strings attached. I'm not asking for no money. I'm not asking them to book anything through me. I'll be more than happy to, you know, to, you know, to, but I I want to, I want to, I want to help people who I know are moving. Don't call me every freaking day for the next three years and you haven't made one move yet. But now, now you're wasting my time, <laughs> you know, because there's people but that I mean, would call, there's people that would call just a chit chat. I'm talking about serious people. It has to really, they have how to How do they know themselves. they're serious? How do, maybe, maybe they want to do it, but you know, they're a little bit afraid, they're a little bit scared. That's they don't I know if they would be able to do it. I think by me talking to people, I think I will, I will be able to sense because I've done it a but, lot. I'm saying you don't want to intimidate them to not want to call you because you know, they don't know if they're serious about it. Well, I, you know what I would do, really? And, and it, this kind of sounds kind of biased. It's maybe also like a sort of selfish 
selfless promotion. Um, pick up my book, Freestyle Promotions and the Seven Simple Steps. It's only what, seven bucks online, whatever, I don't know. Uh, go to Amazon, pick that up and give you a nice little foundation. Read mm -hmm. it, read it, take notes. And then from there, call me with questions. Now that makes sense because you're not okay. going to ask me the little, the little, the, the details in that book will be enough information to, to convince you whether or not it's something you want to do. If right. you look at that process and you're like, uh, yeah, I really can't see myself going through all that. Then it's not for you. It's not for you. You have to have a level of, for, for, of, uh, of passion in for it. Like you got to want to do it because it, it's a pro. And the, the reason why it's a process guys is because it's lucrative. You can make a lot of money. Nothing that makes a lot of money is easy. It looks easy because the people doing it are just good at what they do. Right. But it's, but it's not always easy. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, yeah. And that goes with, you know, with, with anything, anything that anybody is good at, you know, they just, you know, you, you see a movie about a drummer. Next thing you know, you want to get a drum. You're like, oh man, that shit was dope, man. I want to get these drums. And you buy a freaking thousand dollar set of drums and you realize you can't play that shit. Now they're just in the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, because that it was, he, the guy was so good that he made it seem effortless. Like, like he just yeah. picked up them sticks and he was, no, man. Oh man, that's freaking hours upon hours of working on his craft, mm -hmm. you know, and, and yeah. people just have to, and I think by grabbing the book, at least by, at least by grabbing the book, again, it seems like a selfless promotion, but that's fine. It's my book, whatever. I wrote it um, yeah. for freestyle promotion, seven simple steps, pick up that book, get it from Amazon, get it from right. Amazon, read right. the book. It's really easy. It's an easy read. It's, it's a short book. Write in the book. Get a pen. Write, write in that shit. Don't say the pages. But you're open. You're open to people calling you. Absolutely. But I, come on, babe. I, I do that shit now. Yeah. How many times you've come you in? Here, babe? I'm, on the, I'm on the phone. Who you calling, babe? Listen. How how many times I'm on the I'm on the phone, and, and you come in here and you're like, who that? Who the hell is that? You're talking to all that time. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. Some some guy from Canada. He's like interested in promoting. <laughs> you know, and then the thing is, yeah. what's crazy is I don't hear from the dude for a year. They say, I know, get a phone call. Hey, man, so I got these seven artists I like to bring to this venue. I'm like, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know how many times, you know how many times that had happened? Remember well, Refugee? Yeah, that, that you had an influence on them. Yeah, yeah, but they called me back because they told me. I just didn't know it. I didn't realize right. it. And when I didn't right. hear from them, but that's why I don't sleep on people because I do. I get people that call me a lot. And then I'll be honest, man, there's some that are a little overwhelming, man. They'll call me and you know me, I got to, for me to be on the phone, like, like I'm here to help or whatever, but you know, I do have things to do also. And they'll call and call and call. And I look, I'm like, oh, oh my God, I, I really don't have a half hour for yeah. this person to just kind of, basically asking me the same question. That's the thing, ask me the same question. Then all of a sudden I don't hear from them. However, I did take every single one of their calls. I don't hear from them for a few months. Finally, they call me and I, I see the call and I'm like, oh, it's that dude again. Oh, shit. Yeah. But that's how, let me just answer. You know, because I don't want to be like that. I pick up, hey, La, what's up? Hey, man. So I'm ready to do a show. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm ready to do a show, man. I'm like, we, we told, yeah, so I got this venue. So the venue hosts 3,000 people. I'm, I'm thinking about these four acts. I did what you said and I um, I consulted with my neighborhood DJ and he told me that these are the artists that will work and da da da. You know what I mean? And next thing you know, the dude's booking and he's an he's a, a regular promoter from that point on. Well, you know, there's a there's a question I want to ask for you. Um, do you think there's a type of person that would be a best to be a promoter? Like you know, I say a type A person, a type B person. Are there any questions you could possibly put together for someone to look over to know whether they would be the type to want to do this or not? Um, I think people who have more of a free spirit as far as like that entrepreneurial spirit to mm -hmm. be honest people that come in out of the corporate world now you got people that are coming out of the corporate world but they're leaving the corporate world because they have that entrepreneurial spirit and that structured corporate world doesn't work for them like i can't work in that environment it doesn't work for me and i you mm -hmm. know me i've been offered nice jobs virgin records ceg pyramid so i had big companies that have contacted me and and i considered it I considered it, but then I would sit back and say, the money's incredible, the benefits are incredible, but 
that box that they're going to put me in is is mm -hmm. is not going to work for me. It's not right. for me. I worked at Metropolitan for how many years because I had that freedom. See, there was no constraints. I actually stepped into that situation with my own. However, I put in beyond the amount of time and money that they paid me. But, mm -hmm. but what I got better, what I got back in return was the freedom. I ran my agency from there. Um, I put out a second compilation from there. Mm -hmm. I was able to leave and go on the road on a Friday and leave work. And not even mm -hmm. go to work on Friday because I would have to go to the airport and then I would get back so late on a Monday that I wouldn't start until Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had, and I was still, everything was still, I still get paid the same. So, so I had that, um, uh, I had that freedom, but I think yeah. it has to be someone who has that entrepreneurial spirit, who isn't scared to take risks, who isn't scared to put the time in and who has a true passion for the business, but really, I think if you have a passion for for you now anybody who's into music or just can do it but if you have a passion for freestyle at any level it does it makes it that much better however what the one of the first things i will teach people is how to separate your fandom from the business aspect because that could become a problem mm -hmm. and i've seen that uh i've seen that become a problem in the past mm -hmm. where people once an artist knows that you're a fan and you're a promoter, you in trouble. <laughs> you in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they're going to know how to manipulate them. The artists are good. They're going to yeah. know how to get what they want. They're going to have you, they're going to have you uh, booking from them, booking them every week when you really don't want them every week. They're yeah. going to have you, they're going to have you putting them on the all their concerts, even though you already had them on three of them, you know what I mean? It's yeah. so you have to know how to separate that, you know. Well, where, you can, where can people find you besides here? On on my profile, they click on my face, press my uh -huh. face. All my information is there. Every everything okay. is there. You know, as a matter of fact, now that you bring that up, this is a good point. I'm gonna put when we finish with this podcast, I'm gonna pop my phone number up on my bio. Good, good move. Right. Good move. Yeah, I'll put my do you number think, there. Do you think now, that there's, there's like, a deal? Do you think there's a list of questions that you could put together for these no. people? No. You don't think so? No, I think what needs to be done, I think people who are interested are going to have their own questions. Mm, okay. See, a question isn't going to work. It's like reading a book. You know, you can read a book five times, and every time you read that book, something else kind of stands out. Right. Because that's where you were at mentally. Now, you didn't see that the last time you read the book because you weren't there yet. You mm -hmm. had to read the book again. To, and then every time you read the book, you see something new in it. And it happens all the time. So people have to come and they have to have that first level question because I can't answer questions for of a seasoned promoter. You know, once you get to the end of the show, I don't want to talk to you about the things you should be doing at the end of your show. At, after at, or by your second event when we haven't even started your first one let's get the first steps in and they're gonna right. they're gonna know exactly what question to ask right. but i don't want people to be as to be scared or to be ashamed or be shy to ask me you know yeah, I mean, and if, if i don't, and if I don't you, have no the answer listen, I don't call you they can always if they're afraid to call you they can always message you message me message me text me i mean email and t message on facebook has been has been good lately you know, and, and mm -hmm. to understand that, you know, I don't know everything. Sometimes shit changes. Sometimes I forget stuff. Sometimes I just never dealt with something. But you know what? But you, you have the network to reach out to somebody. I, I, yeah, I can it's, find out. You know. And sometimes I'll find out not just for them, but for myself. Right. Because it might be a good question. I might be, oh, you know what? I don't know that, but I'm going to find out because mm -hmm. that's that's an interesting topic. And I do that shit all the time, you know? Yeah. But, but isn't all of your social media um, at Latif Mercado? Yep, all of it. Yeah. yeah. Then who are you, my promoter? Yeah, you know, you know, you know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know, and this is what I want to do. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with this podcast. We're gonna get on here every day from twelve to one. Yeah. We're gonna chit chat. We're gonna talk. I don't mind. I could talk. I could talk for an hour. I could talk. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, I could talk to you. And now I could ask questions. You know, I'm one of those go. people. I'll ask a yeah. million questions. I'm sorry, Eddie be here. Eddie be up on here. Hey, Eddie and yeah. Tommy. We we'll, we'll have Eddie and Tommy. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We'll have them both be promoters. They, they can team up. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> but um, but yeah, you know, I I I feel that we can um, I feel we can gr- break some ground, and I would love to see some new promoters uh, come out. And look at Zeke. Hey, Zeke and Kathy. Zeke, I was one of the first people he came hey, to you, consult you with. got a question. You got a question. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, we could do some tag team stuff, man. Tag team. <laughs> tag team? What are you, yo, I'm married, bro. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think he oh. means promoting. I think he means promoting. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> some tag team promoting. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right take that back <laughs> but uh, um but yeah man so anyway uh but yeah so we, you know we'll, we'll come on here you know every day and we'll we, you know i'm hoping that we can we can pull some people in and i would love oh well, i was saying it was before i was saying uh you know when z came on what was the i was the first probably the first person that he consulted with Mm-hmm. And he read, I remember him reading the book. Actually, he read the book and then he called me. He said, yo, yeah. I just read your book. I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. You know, and that book isn't made for you to be bogged down with booking. It's made so you could get right to work. It gives you right. just a brief overhaul. Because if I sat there, I could sit there and write a 500-page book on how to do promotions and that whole industry. That's not important. It really isn't. You go right. to college for that. That's like college. College... You could go and spend four years to learn something, or you can go on YouTube and learn that shit in a half an hour. Right. You know? So I agree. The same thing with, with the with the book. I didn't want I want it to be quick because I want you to get through it. I want to I want you to maintain get the excitement. If I if I give you a book that's gonna take you a month to learn to read, by the end of that month, you might have lost the spark. Interest. Lost interest. Yeah. Right. So I want you to kind of get a good feel and then call me and then let's get to work. Let's get the ball okay. going. You know, yeah, and uh, yeah. and and what he did, what did he do? Zeke did several big shows. The first show that he did with me, he practically sold out. You no, know? he did he sell did. out that one. Yeah, yeah, I think he did like four thousand people. He killed it. Yeah. He killed yeah. it. You know, but he yeah. took you know, uh, and he still consulted with me. No strings right. attached. Right. You know, but that's what I wanted to see. That. Yeah. And he didn't have to call me every time, and he didn't book have to book my artists all the time. He didn't have to do that. It wasn't that wasn't part of the deal. Right. The part of the deal was to go out there and promote and, and right. do it for the community. Do it. We need that. We need that. It really, it, it sustains the entire genre. Yeah. It helps us. It helps all the artists indirectly. And the, a lot of times the artists don't see it. They don't, they don't get it. You know, <laughs> they don't realize that every promoter that's out there is very valuable to all of us because they're keeping everything sustained. So people can't be hating. They got to mm-hmm. get off of that shit, you know? Yeah. And um, you know, and I just uh, you got you got but, two questions there. Okay. We'll call it tag team promotions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, see, we got two crazies on here. All right. See, this is what happens when you use apps like that. You get you get crazy people that call you. Talk you about got another question. <laughs> Mary, you no, you said Eddie and Tommy, man. We could tag team and we talk about promoting. <laughs> My God, I bought that uh, book, The Seven Simple Steps. Man, I enjoyed it, man. But, you know, I'm learning little by little. And just so that you know, yes, yes, y'all, book two. I'm, I'm flying right through it, man. Every time I turn the page, it gets better and better. I feel like I'm in the story. I'm on chapter 40. I'm going to be on book three soon, man. Thank you, Latif, for writing that book, man. It's awesome. That's cool, Tommy, bro. You've always been a huge, huge supporter, man. I appreciate you very much, man. You know that. I've told you we communicate quite a bit. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're liking the book. Uh, I'm always on pins and needles when people are re- writing or reading my books. Uh, I do put a lot of work into them, uh, but I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I know you went through book one. I mean, I didn't know you could read so fast, bro. Uh, tell me, bro. I didn't know you could read, man. I'll be real with you, man. He's <laughs> stupid. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> I just, I just with you. Yo, I appreciate it, Brand, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, keep me posted on how how you like the story. And I can't wait for you to get to book three. Uh, you kind of run by it, but uh, anyway, yo, our time hey, is just take about... this last question. We're running oh. out of time. Who are you, the question police? <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, you crazy. <laughs> 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 but uh, <laughs> yeah. we got another one. Oh, Wrap shit. it up, B. Wrap it up, B. Uh, Most definitely will, man. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you soon. 
<laughs> all right, man. Yo, well, we're going to shut down, guys. I appreciate all you guys listening in. Well, be here and tomorrow. We'll, we'll, oh, yeah, we will definitely try to tune in. Uh, later on this afternoon, I'll be scheduling um, another session. So look out for it. Make sure you subscribe to me and Angel. You can find Angel. Angel, where do they can find you? At OCG Angel. Where? You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter at OCG Angel or at Original Cover Girls. There you go. Make sure you guys, you know, follow, follow tag, like, uh, spread the spread the message. Uh, if there's stuff that you like about this underneath this this actual post on Facebook, you know, write what you think. What you think? Do you think we're on the right track? Do you have any ideas, any suggestions? We're open. There's an open platform. It's not just ours. It's for everybody. So, but until tomorrow, you guys be cool. Peace out, and we'll talk to you then. Bye.